Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, we are in Louisiana and just right outside Shreveport. Uh, we're actually at a trucker stop here, just getting gas, and we're going to start heading. Not sure if we're going to really go through Shreveport. I think we're going to kind of bypass it because it's the weather's looking pretty crappy. It's supposed to have a 100% chance of rain today, and same thing down Baton Rouge, which is where we're going to. Yeah. So we'll try to get as much as we can filming. For, it's actually going to be like that, I think, all the way till Florida, really, isn't it? So. I looked in Florida. Florida normally doesn't have that much rain. They normally have on average five days of rain in February, but basically they're going to get like a little over a week straight of rain once we get there. Yeah, it's just from, from <laughs> now on, next next 10 day forecast just shows rain everywhere. It's like, oh man. Yep. <laughs> it's still going to be like 60, so it's better than like 20s where we were at. Yeah, so, a lot better. <laughs> and snow, but we'll be all right. So we're just going to try to show you what we can. So hopefully it's just as good as we think it's going to be, right? It's Louisiana. It's a new place. It's, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's, it's a new state, at least. We'll, we'll insert some pics of the food we had last oh, night. Oh, yeah. Forgot Ooh, about that. <laughs> that was good. We had our yeah. first, like, real Louisiana Cajun Southern Immersion feast. Yeah, we should have bought the GoPro on there and showed you, but it's called Sam's, wasn't it? Sam's Southern Eatery. Yeah. Oh, man. Delicious. Best catfish. Oh, the oysters. Oh, the fried oysters. Oh. Wow. <laughs> they were freaking delicious. So, yeah, we'll, just, we'll probably be showing you pictures of that as we talk right there. So, yeah, definitely come to Louisiana if you want some good fried fish. So let's get going. Let's show you what we can. So we did find something to do here in Louisiana, actually at Mansfield, Louisiana. We already walked through, so I'll show that right after here, uh, we'll, all the walk through here. It's this Manfield uh, Confederate Civil War, all that good stuff. Let her uh, explain yes, to you. Uh, She's better at it. It's a state historical <laughs> site. Um, basically, this is the occurrence of the Battle of Mansfield occurred in this area. So this is basically where the Union pushed, pushed, pushed in order to take over Texas. They were going to try and take over Shreveport, Louisiana, which we were in earlier today, and in order to uh, venture into Texas to uh, overtake that. However, the Confederates were able to push them back. A much smaller force was able to push them back, and they had to retreat all the way and lost, actually, um, I think combined total, I just read it, was 7,300 troops lost their lives in uh, this, uh, what they call the Red River Campaign, because this is the Red River of uh, Louisiana. Yeah. See, I told you she's better at it. <laughs> she'd, be, she'd be a historian. She just remembers everything she reads. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a cool-looking gun. <laughs> I do. It was it was really cool. Um, I'm not sure. There's also a mile loop uh, to walk yep. with uh, information. We may do that with Rusty. Um, it is pretty chilly out here, though, so we'll see what we get done. But, yeah, yeah. it's, it's uh, pretty cool. It was a lot of good information. It was It's a cute little site, only $4 uh, per person entry fee. Yeah, uh, just nice We're thing just, to do. Yeah, right off the highway was a uh, 49. Yeah, about 11 miles off the four, highway 49, and then it's just right here. It's a pivotal point, actually, seems like in the, the Civil War. Yeah, because actually oh, that was yeah. what I was reading. It would have uh, ended a, uh, the Civil War would have ended a lot sooner if the Union had been able to keep pushing and push through. But the, since the Confederates turned them back, it lasted for a couple more months. So, so enjoy. We already went inside, so now your turn. This museum does a very well job of illustrating the phases of the Red River Campaign and showing how it went about in each section. The other thing that's very interesting is how this museum humanizes the Civil War. For most of us, it's obviously a very long time ago, but we always forget that these were real people fighting for real things. And it was very interesting to see their letters and their personal takes on both the war, their fears, everything about what they were kind of going throughout the time.
right there is a spot where about 200 men died. This is one of the battlefields. The museum is right up there. That's where we just kind of came from. Here's the lovely wife. And I'm about to hit this, uh, I still don't know the name of it. It is General something trail. Mutan. That's what I'm going to go with. Mutan. Malpun? I don't know. Louisiana's pretty, though. Nice and green. A little bit of swampy smell here and there, though. Still no gators. Still no gators yet, and he's just shaking like a rag doll. It's a little chilly out. Yesterday was 70, and today is cold. <laughs> So came across this go ahead and if you want to pause the video and read that go ahead but it's basically just a, a trail system that kind of goes around and there's these little white things that kind of see out there it just each stop has a description of what happened to each uh infantry union confederate all that but it just goes around it's about one mile long just keeps on going and then uh has little signs and stuff tells you what trees and stuff are too and then random caitlin in the, the fam <laughs> in the parking lot so we're gonna keep walking a little bit but that's all we're gonna show you this place we'll get back on the road and uh see what else we can find For this section of our trip, after our time at the Civil War Museum, we opted out of pure interstate travel and decided to take some of Louisiana's back roads like highways. We saw small towns, muggy swampland, and large bayous and bridges as we made our way to New Orleans through the rain. We crossed a seemingly endless amount of bridges as we made our way deeper into the heart of Louisiana. I couldn't wait to get to New Orleans and have my chicory coffee and authentic beignets from Café du Monde. All right, guys, so we have made it to New Orleans, as you can see. Um, we found some good parking actually right by the French Quarter, Bourbon Street. So we were kind of lucky there. Price uh, parking's a little expensive, but who cares? We're in New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to see here. We should have more time. It's like oh, a month yeah. to check this whole place out. So yeah. let's, see, let's go see what we can see here today. Probably first some good New Orleans food, though. <laughs> food. Smile. Oh. <laughs> Kate got her drink. She's happy. Rusty's got his drink. I got mine. Aww. <laughs> Who's next? Shrimp and oyster po' boy and the gumbo. Award winning. Alright guys, so that was Louisiana. I can't speak. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was Louisiana. 
We're officially in Mississippi. That is our fourth state on this uh, little trip. Yeah, we're, we're pounding pavement, that's for sure. Yeah. Everything we can. We just saw New Orleans. That was a blast. Oh, that was so much fun. Um, I wish we had had the full month to explore there like we had originally planned for my birthday. But it was great. We got some great food. I had the best. It was some award-winning gumbo. And man, let me tell you, it was award-winning. <laughs> it yeah. was good. And then, of course, the classic Cafe Du Monde. David will insert a picture here, I'm sure, of yeah. me and my, my coffee and my beignets. I saw it in the video. I showed a video. Oh, okay. So, yeah. But that was delicious. That was great. Um, so, now we're here in Mississippi. We are on our way to our next hotel. Yeah, it's, uh, it already looks different. Big and green. It does. I'll show some clips of that in a second. But we're on our way there. Probably going to see the beach, too, hopefully. Well, we made it to Gulfport, Mississippi. You see, it's nice, white, sandy beach. It's wonderful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> seen, we actually got here last night after we ate dinner, and we, it was dark time. As soon as I got here, Caitlin just threw her socks and shoes off, and she just took off. As you see, it's like, it's, I don't know, 50 yards from the water. I'm getting out. I'm, I'm getting out, and she's like booking it to the water. She's like, "Hi, ocean!" <laughs> I so, missed it. She it's left been me. A while. She left me for the ocean. <laughs> But the sun's out. It's still a little. It's cold. It's like 52 degrees out here, but uh, it's not busy, really. No. There's not. I mean, you can see as far as the eye can see there. There's people out here, but uh, it's a cute little quaint town. You know, it's not ba bad. Good food. And, oh, uh, it's been really good. Yeah. So we gotta definitely try all the cuisines out here. But uh, we're about an hour to our next destination. That's about it. So we're just gonna kind of drive along the beach and just check things out. So let's go do that. We're at Shark Heads in Biloxi Beach here. <laughs> Caitlin's here too. There's a cool little thing you can take in front of you. Get inside the mouth of the shark and all that stuff. Some souvenirs. So we're gonna go check it out. It is the biggest souvenir shop I've ever seen. Just goes and goes and goes. Go little T-Rex, go. Still on Bluxy Beach, Rusty's first beach experience, and he found a dead crab, and he's not sure what to think of it. What do you think of that, Rusty? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 having it. I don't, I don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust any of it. First time in the beach, Rusty? Not sure about it? <laughs> All right, well, we're <laughs> while Rusty investigates the dead crab, <laughs> we're gonna enjoy a little bit more of this here, Biloxi Beach. We just got down to the souvenir shop and all that, and uh, enjoy some of the sun while we have it. I think still next 10 days showing nothing but rain. So we're gonna do that, and then next stop is Alabama, which is only like a <laughs> He's still going after it uh, about a half an hour from here, really. And yeah. then uh, that's where we're staying tonight. So we'll show you Alabama next. Okay, so one last thing. He has literally created a little burial around this thing. <laughs> he will not go near it. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to do about this dog. He's been here, I don't know, 10 minutes, just slowly scraping in circles around this thing. Oh, you silly dog, you. We're in Fairhope, Alabama here, and it's breezy, windy, cold, and... Breezy, beautiful cover, girl. Yeah, all that. <laughs> <laughs> the sand's a little different color. I don't know if you can see that. It's not white, white. It's kind of like a... It's like California sand. Yeah? It's sand colored. Like, r real sand. <laughs> this California girl. I don't know. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's nice, breezy. It's cold. 
beautiful out here. Actually, this nice little quaint town here in Fairhope. Uh, we're going to grab some grub and all that. But I think we're going to end the video right here. Uh, t next Tomorrow we're heading to Florida. That would be the next video. I have a little surprise for you guys. So uh, we're going to get some grub here shortly. And that's going to be about it. Yep. Anything else you want to add? Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to all of our social media channels. YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember, keep those dreams of adventure alive. Guys, see you guys in the next episode.